Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to the Missile Launcher update. This will be a brief overview of the new weapons, the missile launchers themselves, and a few of the major changes which have came around in this update. Now, honestly, there have been no game-breaking or game-defining updates which have really been added, however, a few things have changed, which I certainly think are worth noting down. The first thing is that rails now do 22% more damage across the board. All rail guns now do the extra damage. In addition to this, aerofoils have had their health increased almost completely across the board, and rudders have had their health changed. Some of them have gone down, some of them have gone up by a little bit, and some have changed the same. For full details on this, as always, there will be links in the description to the patch notes themselves so you can look at all the bug fixes and all of the minor changes. And with that, let's get into the main part of the update, the namesake of the update, the Missile Launcher. Now, like the Aero Flat Cannon, these are incredibly expensive and incredibly powerful. Coming in at just over 10 million RP, or 2,300 Galaxy Cash, these things are not exactly cheap, and they also come in at 275 PFLOPs, so a little bit less than the Aeroflak, but still very, very expensive in terms of CPU. The big thing with these, though, is that their mass is significantly less than the Aeroflak, the Aeroflak being 4,500 kilograms, these being only a petty 34.7, so these can very much be used by flyers, and since the lock-on feature of the missile launcher does work on ground targets, I am thinking we're going to be seeing a lot of helicopters using the missile launchers, able to release deadly volleys and then hide behind a rock or something to reload. And that's not saying you can't keep on firing these things before your main reload, but certainly releasing six missiles at once does seem a little bit more devastating than firing them one at a time. So how do these things work? The best way to show you is to simply get straight into a battle, well straight into the single player anyway, because no one's currently online. I was waiting for a battle just then for like six minutes. So let's have a look. The new missiles, you can fire them dumb. You can just fire them straight up and as you see they go in a pretty inaccurate, whirly, twisty fashion and that is the scientific term. So you can volley somewhere where you're not sure, sure where the enemy is and that could be somewhat effective as they do have a quite large blast radius. Their main strength however, however is their lock-on feature. Also, my speech isn't playing nice today. So as you see, it's locked on, reloading fully, and then we release our volley, and they all home in on the target, hopefully doing devastating damage, as you can see. Now, one thing I have noted is that very fast targets can actually get out of the way of the missiles very, very easily, and in fact, they can miss quite a bit. You're now seeing the fact we haven't yet reloaded, but we can constantly fire. Simply holding down the mouse button will allow you to fire every time one missile is loaded into the silo. Come on, let's actually get a kill before we continue. So as you can see, their accuracy can be a little bit off at times. Still easily my new favourite weapon though, I've got to admit. So, one thing to note about how these things work, and honestly, it's quite a big misconception some people had, is that if you have multiple guns, you don't get more shots in your volley. In fact, they don't even reload faster. If you have two guns, like I have here, you can still only fire six, when you're fully reloaded. You still only reload to six. Now, I did just say they don't reload faster. That's from what I've seen so far, because the patch notes don't mention it. And honestly, I haven't seen an increase or decrease, depending on the amount of missile launchers I have on the bot. I've tried it with one, I've tried it with two, and I've even tried it with four. I can't really see a noticeable difference. There very well could be, but as of right now, there's no confirmation about that. If there is, I will be putting it in the description below to correct myself. Always check the description on update videos. It certainly seems the better way. Either way, I absolutely love these things. I, I love the style of them. I love the fact you can just keep on firing if you so choose. And I do kind of love the lock-on feature, particularly since they don't seem to be all that accurate. Their turning capabilities 
aren't really that great, causing them to miss a lot of the time if the target is moving very erratically, which means, yes, things like tesseracts and drones will probably still be dodging some of these missiles, although that's yet to be tested by me. And that's pretty much that. So let's get back to the mothership and discuss them a bit further in terms of their stats and the rest of the patch notes. After checking the patch notes once again, I think the only thing that really bears mentioning now is that flak weapons have changed how they aim. No longer do they simply aim in the vague direction of where you're pointing, they now aim for the very centre of your reticule, meaning against ground targets they should be significantly more accurate. And with that, let's get back to the missiles. With the missile launcher, it does bear mentioning that they do have five connection points, which means they shouldn't really be destroyed unless you destroy the gun itself rather than the base it is resting upon. This can be a little bit deceptive because like with the flak weapon, you can place blocks like this, but they simply don't actually connect correctly. So if you don't connect to one of these hard points, which are very obvious to see, you aren't actually connecting the gun correctly to your bot. And a, a good example is to simply do this. As you can see, the gun is not connected. However, if I do this, it now is, which means you have to destroy only this block to remove the gun. So please make sure that all of these hard points are actually connected. Otherwise, your gun's going to be incredibly vulnerable. Now, when it goes back to stats, the missile launcher does do more damage than the plasma launcher. Of course, the Plasma Devastator here does fire in volleys of six if you have six or more guns, so you are going to do a lot more damage to a single point than the missiles, even though the missiles are doing 37,000 damage per shot and the Plasma is only doing 18,837. And with this, the last note I do want to make is that the lock-on missile launcher has a much smaller blast radius than the mi than the plasma launcher, rather. So you aren't going to be getting those huge area of effect hits quite as much. You're likely to hit one target, but hitting more than one target is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's still going to happen, particularly with enemies clumping up behind megabots and such, but it's not going to be as effective as using plasma. And I'm really happy to see this because the one worry I always have when new guns are included is are they going to make other weapon types redundant? A lot of people were actually nervous that the Aeroflak would remove the SMGs from the game, or the lasers as they're now called, but it was fairly obvious from the get-go that was simply not the case, and it's nice to see that the missiles are not replacing the plasma. And that's pretty much that. A bit of a rushed overview, but I think I've covered all the important things. If I've missed anything, then please tell me in the comments below, and please check the description. If I've said anything which has been found to be incorrect in the future, with the update being out for a while, there will be corrections there, and once again, a link to the full patch notes if you want to see the performance improvements, the bug fixes, the shadow fixes, and a lot of the details I've simply not covered. So thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.